Brilliant. So, Didn't they tell you this? Uh, 30 seconds ago, this was this sounded crazy. And now you can explain how it could potentially happen. Go ahead. Yeah, that's how this works. So you don't want to be the person that doesn't understand. If you're the person that doesn't understand, you might meet with ridicule for not understanding this stuff. No, Nathan, I understand yeah, yeah. everything, but I could... Un See? Perfect timing. You insert a presupposition that you have an R value and an earth curve edge between point A and point B, and suddenly you've got an earth curve for it to have to flow over. So, in other words, the only problem for this river, for all intents and purposes, it's dropping in elevation. It must be. It's flowing. They're saying that it has to flow over a curve. But that's the only problem that's being installed by the presupposition of earth curve. But for that fact, it would just be dropping in ele elevation like every other river. It must be. It's flowing. Right, hang on, just but, they, but, to, but their elevation, so called, so called, is from the center of the earth, not from, you know, not from point or point to point. Makes any sense? Yes, no, I understand that. Thank you, Paul. I'm, I'm, I'm crystal clear on what the scenario is now. Um, no, and thanks Nathan, to you, Bev. He, you, he, you in chat says water always finds its uphill. Yeah, right. You've got to have relief if it's going to flow. It's not going to flow if it's if it's facing a hill to flow over. It, it, that, that's not how it works. But yeah, but for the fact that you've inserted a presupposition of a sphere Earth, this wouldn't be a problem. And then dividing gravity by two to get it going up uphill and having less of an effect of a force that's not a force acting on it is, is just a complete nonsense created with the problem of a sphere Earth being a presupposition, not because the, the, the elevation doesn't change, because it must if it's going to flow downhill. If it's going to flow towards the mouth, if it's going to flow out towards the sea, it's got to have relief. It can't flow uphill. That's not how rivers work. So, yeah. Can I, well, can I just add, I've just put one in Master B there um, that shows where the St. Lawrence River actually is. You might be surprised. Okay. Got it up. It's at the end of the Great Lakes in Canada. So, the source of the of the St. Lawrence River is the Canadian Great Lakes. And like, I mean, I don't know about you, but like this whole question about gravity and flowing uphill, normally you'd end up with a trough, like a reservoir, and then the overflow would come. So you would have a level bit in between, but the, the whole uphill river thing uh, would show a concave shape. No, Otherwise, it'd no, just be filling up like a, a trough of water, wouldn't it? A reservoir, like a lake. <coughs> Where does water flow uphill? Sorry, who was that? Was that Jazz? A bit quiet. You get out, Nathan. How are you? Long time. Very well. Oh. A bit quiet, <laughs> Jazz. Don't eat your mic as a result of me saying that. <laughs> Great input, Jazz. Glad I cleared the airwaves for you. I oh, know I'm waiting for you to carry on with what you were saying. I'll, oh, I'll fair enough. <laughs> can, can I just ask Jazz, Jazz, do you have a, an uphill river preference choice, the Mississippi or the Lawrence, or do you have your own? Are you... Sorry, are you trying to say that rivers can fly up, or is that what you're trying to say? No, the globe. Zanik, yeah, Zanik and Nate do. I uh, know all the rivers that I have flow from the Southern Alps, either east or west, out to the sea, or south or north. So downhill. All downhill. Oh. You, you don't know anything no, about uphill it. rivers. What's that? Because Nate was telling us earlier that he'd been over to Gem Panda's server and, like, he'd nearly convinced them that um, uphill rivers were uh, a possibility now. He, 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 were you not there when he was doing that? Jim, hang on. Gem Panda almost convinced people that rivers can fly uphill. Is that what you're saying? 
No, Nate said earlier on Emma UK's channel that he'd been over to Gem Panda's server after we talked about the uphill rivers that he has from the Mississippi. And he said he'd been to Gem's and discussed it with them. They He said they, they weren't too sure at the beginning. They thought rivers went downhill like we do. But eventually, after he'd talked to them for a while, then they were coming round to the fact that they were possible. Yeah, uphill rivers. Oh, so so Nate is teaching them about okay. the model. That's that's yeah, that's yeah. Cute. Okay, it's awesome. Okay, wow. As I said on, earlier on. on the show, hang on. It's true because he made it up himself. He's become the there authority on this subject, and he's telling <laughs> them, and he's explaining that towards well, the end of the explanation process, they understood. Isn't that nice? Yes. Wow. <laughs> well, ac ac what? Ac ac actually, Nathan, um, I can explain physically how a river could potentially flow uphill, not for the very far. Brilliant. So, Did Nate tell you this? Uh, 30 seconds ago, this, was, this sounded crazy, and now you can explain how it could potentially happen. Go ahead. Yeah, that's how this works. So you don't want to be the person that doesn't understand if you're the person that doesn't understand you might meet with ridicule for not understanding this stuff no nathan i understand yeah, yeah. everything but i could un see perfect timing see no no i do understand <laughs> you, 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 yeah yeah that's the whole point of this you need to understand this but you don't understand anything but oh so it's the reverse psychology ridicule me for not understanding it yeah that's going to work on me when i've just pointed out to the audience how this little magic trick works and it's gone completely over your head yeah that little magic trick's not going to work mate it is the cards are flying right over carry on so go on tell us how you can explain how a river will flow uphill go on, tell us how <laughs> you can... no, no. You, you go ahead you go ahead no no you said you could explain how rivers would flow uphill Well, do you know if, how? Because um, if that's the new argument, you don't want to be you don't want to be the one left out of the new argument. So please tell us how okay. rivers flow uphill. Okay. <laughs> okay, so so can I talk? So you know how a flood happens. Water yeah. gets backed up because of a blockage. Do you want me to affirm each bit of this, or do you want it to be rhetorical? Okay, so that's what that is that is how that could happen is that water is getting backed up due to the f the flow the cumex or cubic meters per second of water can't go through that same outlet because of a dam i see kind of like bev explained earlier but before bev said it earlier he also said typically when i explain this they'll come along and say yeah i love that yeah, that, that would be water behaving in the normal way, though, wouldn't it? If it gets backed up, it's because it's not flowing uphill. That's why it gets backed up, because it's not going uphill. Trying to go down, well, reaching no, a blockage, and backing Nathan, up. Nathan, that's not flowing uphill, mate. Nathan, 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 Nathan doesn't sound like that's flowing not either. water like behaving dammed, dammed naturally. Up backed up. That's not water behaving naturally. That's water behaving because of something getting in its way which makes it back up which can make it go back and if it was going uphill it wouldn't be backing up the whole point is backing up means it's not flowing uphill if it flew right. up flow if it could flow uphill it wouldn't back up as you put it so that's not an example of flowing uphill <laughs> hello uh, okay, water so can have a, a little momentum you know if it went downhill it. then it might go, go up it. a little bit uphill maybe it, it, with the momentum that it's gotten from going downhill but it's not going to persistently do that continually upward. I don't Especially think that's when there's this up. weird force that's supposed to pull everything down. That's just <laughs> mostly down. No, no, no. It's a force that you can manipulate in any way you choose in the rhetoric to do whatever you like. If it needs to pull things up tomorrow, it can. You just make it up. No, it can't, Nathan. Yeah, we know. It's not even a force. It can't do anything. We know. We agree. What can it do tomorrow, Nathan? What can it do? Gravity can't do anything. It's just a concept. You can't do anything with it. It's conceptual. 
except are, are we talking about water or are we uh, what are we talking, talking about? about gravity water can bowl over a, water okay so bowl a, a volume of water can bowl over a house tomorrow yeah it could it's in the same state that's in the same state as your position right now it can bowl over a fucking house right, why are you getting annoyed at me you haven't demonstrated water can flow uphill. That's part of the argument that you said you understood. I mean, I'll take it from me. I mean, I'll just use the tactics water. of your own side, Will, no. when this happens to you. You don't understand this. Why are you arguing flat earthers about this when you don't understand and accept my authority about what rivers do flow uphill in this example? They flow uphill because I've told you they flow uphill. Now, why don't you get this, moron? Why are you arguing when you don't understand... Yeah, it's easy. You tell people something as an authority figure, and when they repeat it incorrectly, you point out that they don't understand, haven't accepted your authority, and you ridicule for them. You ridicule them for it. And that's what's going to happen here. I'm going to ridicule Jazz for being a moron who doesn't understand this. You don't understand their doublespeak nonsense of how rivers can flow uphill. You're giving the downhill explanation. God, don't you get this? You're don't you understand? You've just okay, okay. I work for CBS. I need you to prove that you can prove that rivers can fly uphill. They can't, you stupid moron. This is globe rhetoric, <laughs> you daft twat. <laughs> so prove it, you yeah. dumb. We don't Jazz want real. to prove it. We don't think it's true. It's a problem for the globe when you assume a globe, you've suddenly got a hump to get over for this river. The St. Lawrence River, it's got to flow over a hump if you assume a sphere. That's not us needing to prove it, you daft prick. You need to prove it, you moron. Why aren't you getting this? Why are we dealing with such complete retards? You're telling me to prove the shit that you can't get around with your stupid globe model assumption? That's not my problem, you moron. Dumb fucking cunt. All right, it's time to remove Jazz because he's been <laughs> obliterated, so now he's swearing at me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, poor Jazz. He starts off with the argument and then says it's your argument. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Zanik did that on yesterday's show that's yet to be released also. So it got to the point where he's saying air goes mostly down, mostly boom boom, mostly gravity with air expanding in all directions. Then we point out one of the cycles to him where it's just going up and he asks me to justify why it's going up which is the response to his argument, the rebuttal, the demolition of his argument, is suddenly being put on me to justify when he finally concedes that his arguments fall to pieces. Well, no, I'm not going to suddenly explain why these bl bloody rivers flow uphill, you moron. That's not my argument. It's nothing to do with me, my rhetoric, anything. We're smashing your nonsense. Bloody hellfire. How thick are these people? Well, you argue to make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, we know that's our point. It, even uh, though when he was first told it, he made it sound so stupid. Like, wait, wait, wait. Jim Panda was trying to convince someone that rivers go uphill. <laughs> right? And then he tried, He ends up two minutes later trying to defend it. Oh, I can tell you how that happens. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's because I pointed out and used their little magic trick of, well, you've got to understand. Respect my authority. You're a moron if you don't understand this. Well, <laughs> understanding and accepting this thing is real because it's been explained to you by somebody in authority and you've nodded along while they've taken advantage. <laughs> doesn't make it real. Doesn't make it make sense. Doesn't make it logical. Doesn't make it real. Doesn't make it anything. It just means you've understood what they've explained. And in this case, he didn't even oh. understand it and took offence quickly. Something that I might not understand will quick declare that I do. I'm not thick. After after he tries to defend it, he realizes he can't, and he asks Nathan to defend it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My head is swimming right now. It's laughing. Uh, that argument. Would, would that be uphill or downhill? I quite like this. No, no, no. Go on, Neil. Sorry. It said my head is my head is swimming right now with all of this, and it got right past tenth man. <laughs> I got I got it though. I said, is that a pill of dial? I I was trying to say that his argument was damned from the beginning, but no one got that either. But in in case you can't tell, I think this is a cracking argument, which is why I brought it up with Bev on the show. 